Hey everyone, this is Thruvin and I welcome you all to my Microsoft Dataverse for Teams step by step series. You are watching fifth part of this series and in this session I am going to talk about how we can manage roles in Power Apps with Microsoft Dataverse for Teams. So without wasting much time, let's get started. This is the power apps that we have built in the fourth part of this series. We have discussed each individual step of building this power apps for live application system. Now in live application system one part was pending which was about different roles. For this particular application we have two different roles requester and manager. So how can we identify who is manager and who is requester. So when we created and design the architecture of this particular application we took managers table where we are storing different information about manager so let's say for an example whenever I am opening this manager table we took two different column one is manager name and second is manager email now let's say for an example here we need to check like if logged in user is a part of this particular manager table meaning he has manager access otherwise he has regular requester access right so now let me talk about that thing in detail that how can we do that so this is one specific scenario that at this moment we have only two roles now let's say for an example if you are building some other application right so let's say you have multiple roles like someone would having a role like uh, requester someone would having a role of manager someone would having a moderator access someone would having access of approver right so let's say four or five roles are present so at that time what you can do is you can create this type of table a similar like manager where you can have three different column username email and its role and you just need to find out the logged in users email from this table and just find out which role is present over there and based on that you can perform this role management over here so this is one thing now second thing like at this moment we have used this dataverse as a data source now let's say you have the data source sharepoint here so in sharepoint what you can do is you can create different sharepoint group and you can call your power automate flow from the power apps and just check if the user is part of that sharepoint group if yes then yes he is a manager access otherwise he is a regular user so there are so many scenarios like uh, for sharepoint uh, role management i have prepared a separate video in my power of beginner series so you can visit that entire series and walk through uh, role management over there as well but for this one let's go with the table row checking over here and let's get started so first of all you need to make your code on the app start of this particular app so basically on app start first of all we will check if the logged in user is a part of that table or not right so for that what we are going to do here is we will first use a filter function so in filter first of all we will find that if the row is present over there or not so basically the table name is manager so we will apply filters on manager and its manager email is equal to email meaning current users email bracket complete now we need to check so this will give us the row if manager email will match over there now what we need to do here is let's say uh, we can use a count rows function and inside that we will just add this filter function now let's add if condition if this count row is greater than zero meaning let's set one variable set role role value would be which is manager otherwise set role 
is regular user so I think we added this if condition now let's format this code a little bit the code is looking like this so on app start first of all we will check this entire thing and based on that we will get a role value now based on the role value we are showing and hiding components or controls to the end users so now let me just run my app start so I can just check for the through win user what we are exactly getting here so let me just take one label here and let me print my role over here so we will get a better idea so I just took this label here let me just print its value as role so I am getting manager here because Thruvin's user is a part of manager group now let's apply that role over here so these two section are something which should be only applicable for manager so let's do one thing let's select both of the control together and now let's add visibility control and let's apply if role equal to manager then it should be visible true else false correct all right so that is one thing now if you recall in the edit form we have decided that this manager comment and leave status are something which should be applicable in the edit form only if manager login regular user should not able to perform this thing so here also we just need to add that condition so now let's select this control check the visibility property now let's say let's select this control check the visibility property here we already have one condition that in new mode it should not be visible that is absolutely correct and here it is visible so now here we need to add one more check if role equal to manager then true else false right so same thing same code we need to add here as well for manager comments let's add this thing so this is how we can show and hide different controls based on the role now let's do one more thing let me just taste one more th item like let me just remove my user from the admin group and then let me just check what happens so we can taste that perfectly so I'm just editing my table data so I'm going to the manager table and now I'm just removing this one just clicking on close and now I'm going here I'm rerunning auto start so here you can see that my role is user and now I'm able to see only these two options now let me just edit the form so I'm just clicking on any item and going to the edit form and now here you can see that other two buttons other two controls are not visible for me if I am a regular user so this is how we can manage different role for the power apps created in Microsoft Teams isn't that amazing if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on Facebook LinkedIn and Twitter also I am uploading new video related power platform on power BI power apps power automate power virtual agents Microsoft teams and SharePoint every day on my YouTube channel so make sure you don't forget to subscribe my channel also if you wish to receive daily notification about all my new videos on your whatsapp number just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily update about all my new videos exclusively on your whatsapp number also if you wish to listen different podcasts related power platform click on this link 
it will be redirecting you to this particular platform here you can listen your favorite podcast on different podcast platform like apple podcast google podcast spotify and much more so stay tuned with me this is thruvin signing off stay tuned in the next session